Welcome everybody to the 2024, rest of 2024 roadmap of this gaming channel, Buffalo Gaming 39. Well, it's not a gaming channel anymore. A, almost half a year ago, I announced that this channel was switching to music-based content. And I have held true to that. We started out with some really good ones, I think. The Avenged Sevenfold album ranking has been the best one statistically. My favorite one has to be The Rise of TX2. That was a lot of work, but it really panned out. I think it's now one of my like favorites just all time to watch, to have watched. Six hours, though. I never want to... I never want to do six hours again. But, I hopefully we don't have to with the upcoming projects that are coming through. We're going to be starting out. Here's the roadmap. I have it up on my computer right now. I'm kind of looking at it right there. The uh, order we'll be going through is we're going to be starting with the album reviews that are coming up. We have the album rankings coming up, like uh, bands I want to rank all the albums against, yada, yada, yada. And then we also have others that didn't fit in a category. Currently, didn't really fit in one. And then we have the big three projects, the three video essays I'm currently working on. Well, I'm only working on one of them because I'm going to work on them one at a time. But we're going to talk about days that those things are going to be coming out. I don't think I'm going to say that out loud. In the editing, when I edit this, the edit of down there, the big three. You know, we'll get there when we get there. Let's start out with our album reviews. I did my first ever album review with the Green Day Saviors. And I want to continue that. That was fun to talk about. Just kind of talk about an album that I kind of want to do a retrospective of next year. But that's next year. The album reviews that will be happening are going down on a list here on this side. Right there. You will see a list form. Heaven and Hell by Sum 41. Squeeze by The Bites, a smaller band there. So I just kind of want to talk about them because I saw them live once. We have Dark Matter by Pearl Jam, which I was currently listening to before recording this. So I'm in the works of doing that right now. Life is But a Dream by Avenged Sevenfold. A year retrospective. Um, soon it's going to, in June, it will have been out for a full year. I just kind of want to talk about a year later. How do I feel about that album? And next up, we'll be revi revisiting Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance. This year is the 20th year anniversary. It will specifically be June 8th, the anniversary date of that album. And then Revisiting American Idiot by Green Day. September 21st. 2004 is when that came out, so September 21, the video will come out for the 20 year anniversary. Now, I'm very excited to review these albums, or revisit them, of course. The revisiting albums, I could have put in its own category, but I stuck it in with the reviews, because we're basically reviewing the album, we're just doing it in hindsight 20 years later, because they were two huge albums when it comes to the pop punk, emo, just regular punk scene, those two specifically. Now, I want to talk about Life is But a Dream a year later, because I think my opinions on the album is very different to when it came out a year ago in June. So, I'm very happy, and then the two albums that are newer, that, sorry, the three albums that are newer, Heaven and Hell, Squeeze, and Dark Matter, I'm going to review those. Those will come out whenever I can. The Life is But a Dream, Revisiting Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, and Revisiting the American Day do have their own dates. It's going to be the date of their release last year, or 20 years ago. Next up, we're going to be talking about album rankings. Once again, we'll be here once again. List. Here they are. The first band I want to rank the albums of is My Comic Romance, Ghost, and then Ghost, and then Green Day. This is not the order of which those will be released. I want to truly get Ghost out first because Ghost is the um, one I've been talking about for so long. Um... And I just haven't gotten to it because I have just been constantly working on the next video essay. I've never gotten the chance to record the next ghost one. And Green Day, I'm excited. Green Day is my favorite punk band of all time. And My Chemical Romance is my favorite like emo pop punk band of all time. Well, 
So I'm very excited to rank those albums. I do have a really hot take with the My Chemical Romance one, which I'm sure not many people will be the exact happiest with me for. All right. Others that are going to be coming out. Once again, list. Right there. We're going to have more Raldi's Crack House. I said when I made that video, I want to make videos until I beat it. So that's what we're going to do. More of that will be coming out. I just need to record it. Next up, um, we're going to have the return of the Mighty Rejects. If no one knows what that is. Back a year ago, two years ago, me and my friend, Billy the Mighty Dolphin, his channel will now be in the description because I mentioned him, made a channel called the Mighty Rejects. I want to bring that back. And I've talked about with him about bringing it back. What's going to happen is back then when we started the channel, we had a schedule. We're not going to have a schedule. If I find a game I like, we're going to play it together. I'm going to upload it. Simple as that. Uh, Raldi's Crack House is going to be involved in one of those. And then we'll see. I'm also re-uploading every video on Mighty Rejects to this channel. Every video will be moved. Um, another thing I want to start doing is my music hot takes and rants. I rant a lot about music. If you know, if you follow my TikTok, you'll know this. I think I made during the advertising period of the TX2 video at least six different videos ranting about the guy. And I also want to do hot takes as well because I have a lot of hot takes that not many people agree with at all. <laughs> so I want to start doing that. That's something I want to begin doing, and I plan to. Next up. We're going to continue the music release uh, reactions when new music comes out, when new music videos come out, when new singles come out. I'm going to react to that and I'm going to upload it just because I really liked back when I was still primary gaming channel playing Madden. I had um, music Mondays and I want to bring those back. I don't know if I'll call them music Mondays because it might not just release on Mondays, but it could be music Mondays. So potentially we could be bringing back new music Mondays. And then I want to start a series of Fortnite Festival um, where I choose four songs. I'll play through them with my commentary while playing them. And then I'll upload them. There's a lot of songs in that game. It's a really fun game. And I want to actually make like videos on it. Like completely. Now. This roadmap was pretty easy to make. I mean, I have everything pretty much already in my head planned out. All of this I want to do this year, but I will give a warning. The, uh, a lot of them, a lot of these videos might not come out this year. They might start being recorded this year, but they might not come out till next year in 2025. That's just how it is. Sometimes things get delayed, especially when you're working on huge projects like what we are about to talk about down below me. I'm going to put thumbnail. The next three big projects. I have three planned out. I have one in the writing process right now. The other two in the, we're going to do them, but I have to finish writing this process. Thumbnails will be done there. I have the thumbnails already done and ready for when I'm ready to upload them. Cause I always do thumbnails first, especially in content like this, because then that's a weight that isn't on my shoulder when I'm uploading the video, right? The first one, that will be coming out on June 19th. The shared success of Sleep Token and Ghost. In that video, I'm going to be talking about how I think Ghost and Sleep Token success come from very similar reasons while being non-similar bands. They both were growing popular around 2023. That's what that video is going to be about. It's another, basically, it's just another TikTok video like TX2, except I like these bands this time. Coming out in July, we do not have a, I do not have a date yet, but I'm going to want it out in July. Exploring Star Set. And that video is going to be a collab with my buddy Bill, the Mighty Dolphin, who just released a couple days ago, a video called Star Set Infected, a fan-made music video of a Star Set song. Go check that out. It will be in the description down below. And I'm making, I'm in that video, by the way. I'm in that. I yell about liberal conspiracies. Um, when talking with him, I thought, okay, I need more ideas. 
when it comes to these video essays. And we came up with Star Set because I have never listened to them once in my life. I don't know anything about them. So this video will be just for me to learn, me to talk about them, what I learned. Um, because it's a very lore heavy band they have they have some good music because i now know what infected sound likes because i watched that music video it's a very interesting very interesting band and bill will be focusing on the lore part i'm gonna have him potentially just make the entire section that's about the lore while i do everything music based it's gonna be a fun one i'm very excited to collab with Billy about this later on. That will hopefully be out in July. September. I plan on releasing the career of Green Day. I want to release a the um a video essay about Green Day's career with the revisiting American Idiot. Not the same day, but around the same month. Because I think American Idiot is such a big part of the career that I want to release this at the same time. So that's going to be the video essay I work on that will hopefully come out in September. These are the big three. These are the three that could cause everything that came before this in this roadmap to be delayed a little bit. Because these are three projects I am extremely excited to work on. The first two big projects. The first two, the video essays, Mariah Carey and TX2. There's something you probably noticed in those videos. I don't like those artists. <laughs> at all. I do not like Mariah Carey. I do not like TX2. These next three projects are people I like. I love Sleep Token. and I love Ghost. I'm going to see the Ghost movie on the 20th. That's why it's coming out the 19th. They bring up the lore of the two bands. And I only have the lore of Ghost up to before the movie, because that's when I'm writing it. So I want it out on June 19th. Obviously. I fucking love Green Day. Green Day has been a heroes of mine my entire fucking life almost, since middle school. And then Star Set, I don't know them. I'm interested in learning about them. Those, these are the three big projects Coming out once again. Share success of Sleep Token and Ghost. July, uh, June 19th, 2024. Exploring Star Set. August. No, no, no. July. July of 2024. And then Rare Green Day. September of 2024. Normally, I have a month buffer period between when I release things. But because I'm going to ask Billy to make the lore section of Star Set video kind of on its own somewhat, uh, we'll talk about how it goes. But I want him to make that section because I want it to be his vision, how he explains the lore and all that. I think I can cut the time of it on my work on it and just throw it in. You know, that's kind of what I'm hoping because... One thing you're going to notice. Mariah Carey was my first take at a video essay. Talking about music. Explaining what I'm listening to. TX2 was my first time reacting to music in real time in the video essay. And just a massive editing thing. This next video essay that's coming out next month of sleep token and ghost is going to include lore explanation what i want to do with the star set video is i want to mix all three of them together to take everything i've learned through the last three video essays and put it in the star set video just kind of see where we are just kind of see how fun it is see the reception we get for that video and then the career of green day is just me talking about the career of a band which can be a completely different style of content again so, the one thing I always do, and you're going to notice this as these projects come out over the next five months, I always try to one-up the last one. The X2 was a one-up Mariah Carey video. 
by way too much. I'm going to have to down the time, but I want the Ghost, quality-wise, to one-up TX2. That's how I want that to go. This is the official roadmap of the rest of 2024. These are what's coming out. This is what's happening. This is what I'm working on. Thank you all for sitting and listening to me yap about the future projects of the channel. Please hit that like button. Make sure we can get in the algorithm. Make sure people see this channel. Please tell me you like my new black hair. Please in the comments. Be nice. Be nice, please. I'm joking. I get hate comments all the time. I'm pretty used to it at this point. And, um... Subscribe. Support the channel. Because this is a lot of work. So please, support this channel in any way you can. Send it to your friends. Like the videos. Subscribe. Whatever. Comment. It, you could tell me you hate me. Just comment. Because I really hope that this goes well. I don't even want to get popular. I just want people to like it. I just want people to see work. Enjoy it. Smile, laugh, whatever it may be. My last video, I said thank you for the overwhelming support so far on the change of this channel. But I just want to reiterate it one more time. Thank you for this overwhelming support I have gotten over the last half a year when I changed the trajectory of how this channel is going. And I'll see all of you. In the next video. Bye bye.